Hi everyone, Shirtlight here. As you might have noticed recently, I've been messing around with the GameCube emulator on my off time, since that console has some interesting Gundam games on it, such as SD Gashapon Wars and Senshi Tachi no Kisaki. That being said, there is a game that is often overlooked in favor of its more widely known PS2 counterpart, Mobile Suit Gundam vs Zeta Gundam. Now, Gundam vs Zeta is a great Gundam vs game, but there is one thing about the PS2 port that the GameCube version can handle a little better, by which I obviously mean the local multiplayer aspect of the game. Instead of being limited to two human players, Gundam vs Zeta on the GameCube and or Dolphin can support up to four, allowing for a much more entertaining couch multiplayer experience. One might say that it's just a JP version of the PS2 release with a few extras, and yes, they'd be absolutely right. However, given that the Dolphin emulator does support netplay, I'd honestly say that as far as multiplayer matches are concerned, you'd probably get much more mileage off of Dolphin as opposed to running it via the combination of PCSX2 and Parsec or similar software. Which leads me to the two possible concerns people might have regarding the GameCube version. The concern number one is that with the cubicle console's original controller looking like this, how can somebody who's played the game's PS2 port get a grasp on its controls? Well, that may not be as much of an issue as you might think. You see, I did mess with it long enough to find out what control layout does it use. So as you can see from the picture I've pulled up on screen, you use left analog stick to move, and yes, the direction pad does the same thing. A for jump, which takes place of the cross button, the red B button is your primary fire, and essentially the GameCube equivalent of the square button, the Y button is used for melee, just like the triangle button on PS2, X is your target swap button, basically circle on, uh, on your DualShock, the right and left bumpers are assigned to the sub-weapon and the command slash awaken power-ups respectively, so at least that is rather intuitive, if you were using the DualShock controllers R1 and L1 for that. Special melee is done by moving the weird yellow stick and the special ranged attack is executed by tapping the small blue Z button. Thanks to the emulators like Dolphin, you can obviously reassign the keybinds to correspond to your preferred inputs. Speaking of those, the game retains the button combinations from the arcade version, such as pushing melee and primary fire being the sub-weapon input. Which is good news for people who'd want to play this on a keyboard or an arcade stick. One thing that will remain a little awkward though is the use of the B button, or square if you bound it to that, for backing out of menus as opposed to the PS2 port's triangle button. Also, in the UC mode, the GameCube controller's X button opens the tuning menu as opposed to the square button. Now, the second possible concern may be that the JP menus are hard to navigate, which I slightly disagree with. Yes, I might be a little biased since I've been dabbling with similar games for quite a while, but from my experience, the layout is completely identical to the menus of the PS2 version. Not to mention that the main menu has its various sections accompanied by English text as well. All the unlocks stay the same, so there isn't really anything that would hinder one from playing. Overall, I'd say that at least from the perspective of an English speaker, the PS2 game is definitely the go-to for Gundam vs Zeta's UC mode, gallery modes, flavor text and such. Though at the same time, the GameCube port is definitely better as far as the integration of multiplayer is concerned, on top of the console's respective emulator having a fairly smooth netplay integration. With all that being said, I'll catch you on the next one. Shirtlad, signing out.